I'm really hoping I can speak for everyone when I say that TikTok is like one of the shittiest content sharing platforms to ever surface the internet. Like any content platform, it's had its own issues regarding, you know, children doing stuff on TikTok live that mommy and daddy wouldn't particularly appreciate, blatant copyright abuse, sheltering of sexual predators, trends that have ended up getting people killed or fucking arrested, just normal content sharing platform shit like that. But what makes TikTok stand out from the rest of the content sharing platforms is just what people consider to be the norm when it comes to content. And you probably don't understand what I'm trying to say just yet, but I'm just gonna throw my first example to get the ball rolling here. Over the past few weeks, I have had my For You page just absolutely cluttered with the most scummy and useless form of content you'll ever see. And you know those videos where they got some stupid fucking show playing on the top half of the screen like Chicago PD or some stupid? And then the bottom half is just some asshole painting with bright colors on an oddly shaped canvas? Yeah, these make my blood fucking boil. Not only are you stealing content from the most hated lazy channel in the history of YouTube, five minute crafts, but you're also stealing corporate TV and slapping the two together to further ruin the attention span of children for views and growth. Honestly, what I find even worse than the corporate TV slash five minute crafts videos are the ones that use genuine YouTube content instead of television. Like instead of stealing from a corporate company who probably deserves it anyway, you're instead robbing content from someone who most likely works their ass off just to make others happy, only for their content to be completely ripped off by some ugly husk of a human who just downloads it with a YouTube to MP4 converter and slaps the shittiest content over it that also isn't theirs. How the hell does anyone even feel accomplished by making this shit? Like you spend a total of five minutes maybe just splicing the clips together so that it flows nicely to fulfill that attention span of a two-year-old, you know? And then people get views for it and they actually feel good about it. Like, may maybe I just have no clue because I've never tried it. For science, I'm going to make one of these shit-stained videos in under a minute right now, and I'll tell you exactly how I feel right after finishing it. I enjoy my enjoy my reverse masterpiece. There is something in this world that angers me more than any other thing does, and the fact that it still exists, and the fact that people still pay for it, keeps me up at night. I'm talking about airplane Wi-Fi. I fly a lot, and that means I spend a lot of time in the air. Wow. I just wasted 52 seconds of my life, and I feel like a plagiarizing dirtbag. Something that I commonly see, like alongside this form of content, better described as thievery, is when a motherfucker splits some shit into like four or five different videos, and you've gotta like visit their page and find each part in their plethora of dog shit just to get the full experience of what they're talking about. And the irony here with this fucking trend thing, this norm, is that it was becoming a big thing right after TikTok increased the max length of their videos to 10 10 fucking minutes. And they always make the excuse like, oh, I'm running out of time, so I'll make a part two in a few minutes. Like, no the fuck you aren't, bitch. You still got six minutes and 37 seconds left of video. And why do they do this, you ask? Like, why would they do this if you can make a 10 minute video on TikTok? Well, so they can get more views, of course. God forbid you don't create an inconvenience for people and suffer a few less orgasmic convulsions at the sight of a big number on your screen. My apologies if I sound very passionate about my hatred, but like, holy shit. Actually, speaking of passion, I cannot fucking stand what people are calling the TikTok accents. Essentially, there are two TikTok accents, as far as I can tell. One just kind of sounds like someone's reading off a script after being awake way longer than they should be. Like, it just makes them seem like they don't even want to fucking be there. <laughs> like, it, they, they, it reminds me of, like, that fucking Creeps guy. The, the Mick Creeps. Like, hello, I stuck a turtle up my ass. Just, like, more, more monotone. Yeah. The point I'm trying to create here is that it doesn't even really seem like they want to create, you know, content for the purpose of creating content. They seem more like they're just in it for the fucking view counts and the clout and the fucking money than anything. The second TikTok accent is pretty much the opposite. Like, you you sound a lot different, but it kind of just ends up seeming the same in terms of like, oh, I'm in it for the money. Like, they seem way too enthusiastic over something that really isn't that interesting or, like, exciting, if you know what I mean. It's an attempt to seem likable, but all it really ends up doing is making people want to, like, reach through the screen and give you a fucking bloody nose. One example I have was some asshole on my For You page that constantly, like, kept us updated, quote-unquote, on the, uh, COD. Activision Xbox deal that PlayStation wasn't too happy about or whatever from like 
two weeks ago. He always made it out to be a war narrative almost, and it was the dumbest shit I've ever seen. He was way too enthusiastic over it, and it got to the point where I would like try and fucking click not interested on his videos, but no matter how many times you click that fucking button, you're gonna get the content anyways. Like, it just does not matter. It's not an actual button. Another thing that really pisses me off is when people try to create a loop in their video by saying something like, and this is how, right at the end of their video. A while ago, I got absolutely ratioed by the Doom community. My full video on this topic linked in the pinned comment. And that's how, a while ago, I got absolutely ratioed by the Doom community. My full video on this topic linked in the pinned comment. And that's how, just, just stop. It doesn't fucking work. Like, yeah, you may think it ends up making your video smoothly transition back to the start from its endpoint, but it really doesn't. By ending the video saying, and this is because, or anything of that sort, you end up making yourself repeat the same point you said previously, which just makes you sound like you've got fucking Alzheimer's or some shit. It's pointless. Stop doing it. And now we're actually going to get into some more serious shit that probably should not be on here at all. I went on TikTok a few days ago, and the first thing I opened the app to was a video of a fucking baby getting breastfed, like titties out and everything. I'm not talking like a tips and tricks video on like how to breastfeed your child. I'm talking about like it was a video of a fucking mother just pulling her phone out while their kid's having lunch and she started lip syncing some stupid fucking nightcore shit. Like it was terrible. It was terrible music. And my ass decided to go to the comments out of blatant fucking curiosity. And I shit you not when I say that I've never seen so many horny 14 year old boys in one place. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. If I wanted to see a big old pair of badongas, I'd do one of two things. Number one, I'd go and talk to real women instead of watching breastfeeding videos on TikTok. Or two, I'd just take my business to the black and orange site in search of whatever self-disappointment awaits me there. I can say with confidence that the worst part about this whole thing is that the mothers who upload these videos are doing it for that exact reason. Because it gets views and likes from fucking 14 year olds. And they also can't get banned for it because it falls under educational quote unquote content. So yeah, we have fucked up mothers on this platform too. What a surprise. Actually, this also leads me to the fact that people seem to think posting genuine NSFW on an all ages platform is funny as fuck. If you've ever seen those you are my enemy videos with the slideshow things, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Fun fact, if you do this, you are distributing porn to children. You are literally committing a felony crime, I hope you know that. TikTok isn't rated 12 plus on the app store for fucking shits and giggles, you know. Kids exist, and kids are curious. Honestly, that's all I've really got for the more important shit, because if I listed off everything I hated about the platform, the, the video would be about 10 hours long. And frankly, I don't feel like making a 10 hour long video, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Uh, be better, I guess, if you do any of this shit on TikTok, especially the mom one. Be better, please, and, and uh, have, have a good day.